Are you taking your vitamins and supplements the right way? Well, you may think so, but chances are you are making some common mistakes without even realizing it. And those mistakes could be making your supplements less effective, or in some cases, even harming your health. You see, the truth is, many people take multivitamins or mixed supplements without realizing that certain combinations can actually work against each other. Some nutrients compete for absorption, while others can enhance or block each other's benefits entirely. So if you're not careful, you could be wasting your money, or worse, affecting your health in ways you didn't expect. In this video, I will break down the vitamin or supplement combinations you should avoid to ensure you are getting the maximum health benefits from your supplements. So keep watching to make sure you are not making these supplement mistakes. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which supplements to avoid mixing for the best health benefits. Welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time here, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Number 1. Calcium and Iron Here's the thing. Calcium and iron are both essential minerals that your body needs. But here's something you may not know. They can actually compete with each other for absorption in your intestines. When taken together, especially in high doses, calcium can block your body's ability to absorb iron effectively. This is particularly important if you're relying on iron supplements and plant-based sources like spinach or lentils, which contain non-heme iron that's already harder for your body to absorb. In fact, studies show that calcium intake can reduce iron absorption by 50% or more. So what does this mean to you? Well, if you're taking iron supplements to treat or prevent anemia, combining them with calcium-rich foods or supplements can work against you without you even realizing it. But here's the thing. There's a simple solution. To make sure you are getting the most out of both nutrients, try spacing them out. Take iron supplements at least 2-4 hours apart from calcium supplements or calcium-rich foods. For example, you could take your calcium in the morning and your iron in the evening. By spacing them out you will give your body enough time to absorb these essential nutrients effectively without any interference. Number 2. Iron and Zinc Iron and zinc compete for the same absorption pathways in your digestive system, which means taking them together can make it harder for your body to get enough of either. Think of it like a traffic jam in your gut, with both minerals fighting for the same spot. This competition can make it harder for your body to absorb enough of either mineral, which over time can lead to deficiencies, especially if you're taking high doses, whether it's to support your immune system, boost energy, or address a deficiency. Now, to help your body absorb both minerals more effectively, try taking them at least 2-4 to four hours apart. Additionally, taking them with food can also help minimize competition and improve absorption. And here is one more thing to keep in mind. Pairing iron with vitamin C can give its absorption a nice boost, while zinc is best absorbed when taken with a protein-rich meal. Number 3. Calcium and Magnesium Now I know what you are thinking. Wait a minute. Aren't calcium and magnesium both super important for our health? Well, you are absolutely right. Calcium is crucial for strong bones and teeth while magnesium supports your muscles, nerves, and even your sleep. But here's the catch. When you take high doses of calcium, it can block the absorption of magnesium in your body. In fact, studies show that when this happens, you may not absorb enough of either mineral, leaving you deficient in both. And obviously, that's not what we want. Now the solution is to take calcium with food in the morning and save your magnesium for later in the evening. It's even great for relaxation and unwinding before bed. Or you can choose a balanced supplement with the right calcium to magnesium ratio. These are specially formulated to ensure proper absorption. Look for something with a ratio below 2 to 1 to make sure your body absorbs both properly while also avoiding potential issues like metabolic, inflammatory, or cardiovascular problems. It's all about balance. Giving your body what it needs, when it needs it. Number 4. Vitamin C and Vitamin B12 this may surprise you because both vitamin C and B12 are amazing for your body. Vitamin C boosts your immunity, helps with skin health, and fights off free radicals. And vitamin B12 is your energy powerhouse, essential for brain function, red blood cells, and DNA production. But when you mix the two at the same time it's like throwing oil on water, they just do not blend well. And here's the science behind it. Vitamin C is highly acidic and can reduce how much vitamin B12 your body can take in, Basically, it can convert B12 into an inactive form that your body cannot use. And that completely defeats the purpose of taking vitamin B12 in the first place. Surprisingly, this is something many people don't realize, and blindly take these vitamins together. 
especially during flu season when everyone's loading up on vitamins to stay healthy. Now the key is to take these vitamins a few hours apart to avoid this interaction. And it's that simple. Timing really does matter when it comes to getting the most out of your vitamins. Number 5. Fat-soluble and water-soluble vitamins. You might think, as long as I'm getting my daily dose of vitamins, I'm good to go. Well, not exactly. You could be missing out on half their benefits and wasting your money without even realizing it. You see, mixing fat-soluble and water-soluble vitamins together could actually work against your health goals. And here's the deal. Fat-soluble vitamins, like vitamins A, D, E, and K, need fat to be absorbed properly. Meanwhile, water-soluble vitamins, like vitamin C and all the B vitamins, dissolve in water and get absorbed quickly. Sounds simple, right? But the problem comes when you take them together. These vitamins can interfere with each other's absorption. Your fat-soluble vitamins cannot get absorbed fully, and those water-soluble ones, your body could just flush them out. Now here is how you can fix this. Take your fat-soluble vitamins with meals containing healthy fats. Think avocado, nuts, or extra olive oil. And for water-soluble vitamins, it's best to take them separately, ideally in the morning. These small changes equal big benefits. Number 6. Iron and Green Tea Many people are switching to green tea as an alternative to regular tea and coffee due to its antioxidants and numerous health benefits. But here's the catch. If you are sipping on green tea with an iron supplement or iron-rich meal, you are blocking some of the iron benefits. Here is why. Green tea contains compounds called tannins and polyphenols, which are great for health in many ways, but they can also bind to iron and make it harder for your body to absorb. Imagine taking an iron supplement with your morning cup of green tea. Instead of getting the boost your body needs, much of the iron may pass through your system unused, making the supplement less effective. This can be problematic if you are trying to raise your iron levels. Now to avoid this issue, just try not to drink green tea around mealtimes when you are consuming iron-rich foods or supplements. Instead, enjoy your cup of tea an hour or two before or after eating. That way, you can give your body the time it needs to fully absorb the iron without missing out on your tea break. Number 7. Zinc and Copper Both zinc and copper are essential trace minerals that your body needs to stay healthy. But here's where things get tricky. They need to be balanced properly. If you take too much of one or combine them incorrectly, you can end up with an imbalance that causes real health issues. Zinc is crucial for things like supporting your immune system, helping wounds heal, and promoting healthy cell growth. On the other hand, copper is just as important. It helps produce red blood cells, keeps your bones strong, and supports nerve and immune system health. But here's the catch. When you take large amounts of zinc, it can interfere with how your body absorbs copper. Over time, this could lead to a copper deficiency. So why does this happen? Well, zinc and copper share the same transport system in your gut. When you consume too much zinc, your body produces more of a protein called metallothionine. This protein binds to copper, making it harder for your body to absorb it. As a result, you could end up with symptoms like anemia, a weakened immune system, or even neurological problems. Now this goes both ways. Too much copper can lower your zinc levels, which can mess with your immune system and digestive health. So how do you avoid this? Well, the key is balance. It's important to take balanced supplements that include both zinc and copper in the right ratios, typically a 10 to 1 ratio. That means if you're taking 10 mg of zinc, you should be getting 1 mg of copper. And if you are taking high doses of zinc for a specific health reason, be sure to check in with your healthcare provider to monitor your copper levels and avoid long-term deficiencies. Now, in addition to the one already mentioned, there are a few other combinations you'll want to avoid when it comes to vitamins and medications. For example, mixing folate or vitamin B9 with zinc can be problematic. Another one to watch out for is vitamin K and blood thinning medications like warfarin, as they can interfere with each other. And here's a common one people often overlook. Vitamin C with antacids that contain aluminum, like Tums or Maalox. Vitamin C can increase how much aluminum your body absorbs, something you do not want. And there you have it. Remember, knowledge is power, and you have the power to make informed choices for your health. Thank you for watching.